Alright, today I'll be making a video about this Vetrex I've been having problems with. Uh, when I first got it, uh, I guess the alignment was off, or like how the vectors connect wasn't connecting properly. So right now I'm going to show you exactly what it was like when I purchased it. It might take me a second or two to actually get in this to like work properly. Yeah, before, uh, you would just turn the knob and it would instantly power on. For some reason, I have to apply pressure to uh, the 6522 chip. I'm guessing there's a bad connection somewhere. So I got pressure applied and I'm going to hit reset. I only got two fucking hands, so this is not going to work out ideally. Okay, so this is pretty much what it used to do when it was working every time I turn the knob. Right now, I'm actually holding down, like I said, that 6522 chip. I'm holding that down, and like right here, I accidentally like lift it off a little bit. And as you can see, I just apply more and less pressure, and sometimes it actually turns on or off. The image, at least, not the actual system. Like right now, it's fucking off. I'm holding down the pressure on it. They didn't do nothing off to hit reset. Yeah, even now, uh, you can hear the sound. I have my finger pressed down, and picture is kind of flickering. Yeah, it's going haywire. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Fucking find the knob for it. Another thing I've had problems with is uh, either this chip or socket. I believe this is the 4004 socket. Before, when I put the chip in there, it was working, and then eventually I figured out by touching it, it would actually alter the picture. And then it just kind of fucking stopped altogether, where if I put it in the socket, nothing would happen. So what I've pretty much done here is just rewired it, just hardwired it, just to the back of the board. I'm probably going to get some insulated wires so all these wires aren't touching. Like, as of right now, I don't think they are, but, I mean, they are prone to touching because they're just fucking exposed wires. Uh, I've noticed one of these two end chips, so either, let's see, let me get this going, either... This leg right here, this leg, this leg, or this leg. Uh, when the system's on, I actually applied a little bit of pressure with some pliers. And the vectors actually connected themselves, not completely, but more than what's happened before. So I'm kind of believing that might also have something to do with the vectors not connecting. You know, all the fucking issues I've been having. Uh... So when I got this, uh, it didn't work perfectly, but every time you turn the knob, it would power, and you'd see the same thing. Um, I was reseating all the chips. Uh, the 6522 specifically had, like, I guess, like, corroded or, like, a very rusty leg. And I went to clean that, and it pretty much just broke the fuck off. So repaired that with uh, some solder. It got the job done, but... um. I still kind of thought it was, you know, not working. I went ahead and purchased a new 6522 chip. Uh, pretty much same results. Kind of went back a step. Figured out this is giving me somewhat of a problem. And for some reason, I need pressure applied to that 6522. And also this, uh, this plastic piece here. When you turn it on and actually move this plastic piece, it'll sometimes alter the picture or just cut off the power altogether. It's really weird. I'm getting power through like the 5 volt and all this stuff over here. I've unplugged this cord. I've unplugged the XYZ cord or whatever the hell it's called. Mm. I've also fucking grounded pin 1. Uh, it should have been grounded but just for like extra precaution. 
soldered another wire there. Uh, so like I'm saying, I'm not exactly sure what's wrong with it. Could be a combination of things. It kind of looks like it to me. But then again, I don't know. I was trying to give another example of uh, like when this thing wants to work and when it doesn't. Right now the knob's on. I'm going to go ahead and move this back and forth a little bit. Alright, what I'm actually going to do is pull up on it. So I have a I have light pressure applied pulling up. I'm going to set this down real quick, turn the knob off, and then back on and see what I get. Okay, I'm actually not getting nothing or anything. Uh, usually, something will happen when I apply pressure, either like pulling or pushing on that for some reason. I guess now is not a time. Yeah, now I'm pushing down the board. Powering on and powering off, nothing's happening. Power off one more time. Alright, so right now, holding down the 6522. Oh, go ahead and just illustrate this one more time. I'm holding down this piece around, I guess, maybe the edges or, you know, towards, I guess, the ends, if you want to call it that. So I'm holding this down right now. And I have to set this fucking camera down and uh, hitting the knob. Uh, it's not doing anything actually. Let's try that again. Making a bunch of flickering noise. Uh, the volume's kind of playing if you can hear it. And right there, I took my finger off of that chip. So you can hear the audio just like, you know, kind of took a shit. Alright, so. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple more things before I end this. I'm flipping this upside down. And that chip I was talking about that I actually hardwired. Or soldered the, uh, the freaking wires right towards the soldering points. I'm just going to make sure these aren't touching. Because kind of have a feeling that a couple of them are and that probably wouldn't be too far off the truth so I'm separating one side right now just gonna make sure for extra measure these aren't touching another thing I also should say uh, I removed the socket from the 6522 chip and when doing that, I also lifted a couple pads, contact pads, little circular metal pads. Uh, doing a continuity test, everything seemed to have connections still. However, like I said, some of the pads were removed, so I'm not sure if they're getting like decreased continuity. Or what the deal is exactly. I might just have to go and hardwire everything. I mean, I guess that could narrow down my problem or potentially fix it. So right now, none of these look like they're touching. I think a couple of them were. Uh, these should all be connected directly to their things without touching one another. Yeah, from what I can tell, they are. Uh, if I can prop this up somewhere, I might be able to power this on without having to drop the fucking thing again. Alright, so let's try this. I'm not sure how this is going to look, but let's try it anyway. Alright, that's with the power on. Nothing's happening right there. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, so, as you can see, there ain't shit happening. I'm going to try to apply some pressure to that board, like I was saying earlier. Yeah, I'm pushing down on just the board, or like the plastic chast whatever the fuck you want to call this thing just pressing down this plastic uh allowed me to actually power that on well not power it on but actually you know shoot the display on it uh, like right now i'm not getting any luck with this thing all right i'm gonna apply some pressure to that 6522 chip not getting anything either nope Yeah, 
it's really awkward to freaking show you how this works because I mean I have to like literally have my hand inside this and the Vectrix upside fucking down right now I have pressure applied to the 6522 and I just took it off I mean you barely freaking let go of the pressure and that picture is gone uh, I don't think there's much else I can show you right now I'm really trying to think of maybe something else that I could demonstrate but I mean okay right now I do have my finger on that chip uh probably not as normal amount of pressure as I usually do <laughs> all right and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing real quick this time I'm not actually holding down the chip I'm actually holding down this black piece once again so like screens doing shit and I'm actually just holding down this this black. If you listen, you can hear the speaker like shut off when I let pressure off. Just let the pressure off and this thing went off. Push down again, hit the reset button. I get more activity. I just let go of it. Uh, when this thing does actually work, also touching these will alter the picture. Uh, usually not for the better. Sometimes it will improve slightly, but just go back to worse or to its current state. So yeah, that's really about it. That's what I've done to it. That's what's been happening. Uh, I don't know if it's worth replacing that socket in that chip. I don't know if that's the main problem. I mean, it looks like shit right now, but it's working better than actually just putting it in the socket from what I can tell. When it's in the socket, it doesn't do anything. Uh, if you touch it while it's in the socket, it'll sometimes flash different like images very quickly. But it won't stay. So I'm actually having better luck with this rather than just in the socket. But uh, I guess that could be, you know, contributing to the problem. But I'm guessing the main problem is somewhere within this 6522. Couple solder pads have been removed, like I said, over here. Only like two or three, if I can recall. But, really, I have no idea what the fuck's going on with this thing. So, if you have any idea, let me know.